Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting potential gun running DLC leak. So the reason I say this is interesting is for a couple things. Number one, this is coming from the site 4chan. Now, I don't use this site all that much and I really have no clue how it works, but this is the same site in which the import export leaks came from. So to give you guys a quick refresher, there was a user on 4chan, his name was Rockstar F, that's just what I'm gonna call him. The other part of his name is kind of a slur, so I'm, I'm not gonna say it, but he basically got the Bikers DLC correct and the Import Export DLC. He leaked information on both of these DLCs well before they came out, and 98% of what he said turned out to be true, including vehicles, the way missions worked, the way our CEO garage offices worked. So he's been right on 100% everything. And since the Import Export DLC, he hasn't said a word. Well, another user, and again, this could be just pure coincidence, could be fake, could be real, no one really knows for sure yet, but it is interesting. His username is Descendant of the F. So that guy's name was Rockstar F, this guy Descendant of the F. You guys get it. I'll leave links to it in the description though if you want to check it out for yourself. He has posted a couple things that, if indeed he is correct, could give us some details on the gun running update. So take this with an extreme grain of salt. I'm not confirming anything. I'm just saying this is interesting and we should check it out. So the first thing he says is he actually responds to a question that was, imagine the disappointment of all the people expecting for aircraft carriers and high-end military vehicles when it ends up being really basic cross-country things like Trevor smuggling missions with just a few basic off-roaders and dirt bikes. And he responds by saying, this is not too far off actually. There's still going to be some some neat military stuff like new rifles and other APC, but most of the content is going to be centered around off-roaders and modded weaponized vehicles a la Mad Max. Now that's exciting to me because one of my favorite movies of all time is Mad Max Fury Road, but let's get on. He says it's more of a trafficking slash survivalist theme thing rather than a military update really. Think rednecks rather than mercenaries, and no, there obviously isn't going to be a purchasable aircraft carrier. And he goes on to say, and to all the PC players worried about suddenly getting obscene amounts of GTA money through modders, worry not. The money and whatever you bought with it will be removed before gun running is out. No need to be stressed about it. So let's talk about those few things first. He basically says this isn't going to be a super military update but is more going to be about rednecks, trafficking, and survivalism, with it more being centered on off-roading vehicles and weaponized cars, kind of like what you see in Mad Max. So vehicles that are basically rigged for war, not war-rigged vehicles, if that kind of makes sense. Now, he did say there is going to be some neat military stuff like rifles, APC tanks, and that we won't be able to purchase the aircraft carrier. And he kind of ends by saying that modders are going to lose all their money and the stuff they bought with them before gun running is out. Now, what is kind of an interesting coincidence is something that Rockstar put out. They have actually updated their cheat method affecting PC, PS3, and Xbox 360. They did this yesterday and they updated an article on their support page with more information. So this was updated on May 17th, 2017, which was actually earlier today, and they said several fixes related to this cheat method are in place, and players who have had their account affected should see corrections being made to their accounts. Please check back on this article for updates. So that post and all of the posts that this guy on 4chan is making happened on Monday, so a couple days ago. Isn't it interesting that this came out today and that he mentioned that on Monday? So like I said, I don't want to put the tinfoil hat on here, but we are kind of connecting the dots here. He also responds to another question that says, when are we getting go-karts by saying, what would be the point if there isn't a go-kart racetrack? This isn't Chinatown Wars, no plans for go-karts as far as we know. And then he responds to a question that basically was, how expensive is all of this going to be? He says, a lot, but it'll be worth the investment. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff coming up. And someone asked him, to define a lot and if three million will be enough to buy the new warehouse or whatever he'll need to do the new missions and then he responded with it will do so he says three million is going to be plenty enough to buy probably the new bunkers or facilities we're going to need to start up these missions and the last thing he says actually responds to when this is all going to be coming out and he says it will be out next week expect a trailer before friday if redditors and gta effers 
don't get their hands on these posts like they did with import export you guys don't need to believe me just wait and see and then he obviously signs himself out right there so that's interesting it will be out next week and he wrote that on monday now this is where the post gets a little bit confusing because i don't know if he's talking about the trailer or the update itself but he says expect a trailer before friday is he talking about this friday is he talking about next friday which is may 26th when a lot of people are assuming we might get a trailer again that's where things start to get a little bit vague and i'm really not too sure whether or not that is true like i said none of this has been been confirmed at all yet so you do need to take it with a grain of salt here but I do think there are some interesting points to what he has made based off of what Rockstar has said so far on their one post on the Newswire and one thing I almost completely forgot about is that guy was writing that information as I mentioned on Monday well today the QA beta branch of Grand Theft Auto Online has been updated multiple times which is an indicator that DLCs are typically two to three weeks ready from release and that they're on the final patch and build of the update. So that's pretty interesting right there. Those are some things that I believe validate this guy. But as I mentioned earlier and as we're about to take a look at, what he's saying and what Rockstar mentioned on the Newswire is slightly different. So if we go back to what Rockstar said on the Newswire, it kind of seems as if those are contradicting points. Their Newswire post is stock up and bunker down as you take on the craziest militias across the state of San Andreas and another massive update for Grand Theft Auto Online featuring brand new weaponized vehicles, exciting new missions. Get ready to fight for the supremacy in the illegal arms trade and wage war with the latest in high-powered military hardware. So that to me doesn't sound like rednecks and trafficking and smuggling it sounds like a massive military update which again is kind of different from what that guy is explaining now that's not to say that that, uh, that is going to be a hundred percent what rocks are said will be added into the game they clearly could have overhyped this or they could have just used a bunch of words that maybe weren't exactly what was going to be featured and again that post was over two months ago so who's to say a lot of this content couldn't have changed over that time but i still think this is all very very interesting and the fact that the anti-cheater method has been updated too at the same time that guy mentioned something about it that could be an odd coincidence or that could be a telltale sign that this guy may or may not know what he's talking about here so i'm definitely going to keep you guys updated one thing i'm sketchy about is i think this guy tried to do it too cute like he tried to say descendant of the guy who you know leaked all the other stuff he might be a descendant but i think that's a little too cute to do it on the same forum and kind of with the same name. And also, where were you for the Cunning Sun Special Vehicle Circuit DLC? Did you not have the information then? Did you just choose not to? I think there's a lot of confusing things going on here and the mystery is going to continue until we get some solid evidence and information from Rockstar, which will hopefully be sometime soon. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. Let me know if you think this leak, if you can see my air quotes, is real, is it fake? Do you believe this guy? Do you not believe this guy? Do you think he's full of it? Do you think he knows what he's talking about? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comment section down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.